he asked me of my friend a clever man, such various talent, business, journalism, a pen that might some day have sent out leaders from our greatest newspapers. Yes, all this, all this, I said, and yet he will not rise he'll stay a comp, a printer all his life. I said, just that, a workman all his life. But, as my questioner was a businessman, one of the sons of capital, a sage whose practicality saw, I can suppose quite to his nose tip or even his finger ends, I vouchsafed explanation. This young man, my friend, was born and bred a workman all his heart and soul, and men have souls and hearts other than those the doctor prose is of, the parson prates of, and both make their trade were centered in his comradeship and love his friends. His mates were workmen, and the girl he wooed, and made a happy wife and mother, had heart and soul like him and whence she sprung observe now. When he came to think and read, he saw, it seemed to him he saw, in what capitalists, employers, men like you, think and call justice in your interdealings, some slight mistakes, I fancy he'd say wrongs whereby his order suffered. So he wonders, cannot we change this? And he tries and tries, knowing his fellows and adapting all his effort in the channels that they know you understand? He's only an unionist. Now for the second point. This man believes that these mistakes these wrongs, will pass the word spring from a certain thing called competition which you, and I, no is a God-given thing whereby the fittest get up to the top that I or you, and tread down all the others. Well, this man sees how by this God-given thing he has the chance to use his extra wits and clamber up. He sees how others have, like you or me. My father's father's father was a market gardener and, I trust, a good one, he sees. Moreover, how perpetually each of his fellows who has extra wits has used them as the fox fallen in the well used the confiding goat, and how the goats more and more wallow there and stupefy, robbed of the little wit the hapless crowd had in their general haplessness. Well, then this man of mine, this is against all law, human, divine and natural, I admit prefers to wallow there and not get out except they all can. I've made quite a tale about what is quite simple. Yet tis curious, as I see you hold. Now frankly tell me, will you, what do you think of him? He is a fool. He is a fool? There is no doubt of it but I am told that it was some such fool came once from Galilee, and ended on a criminal's cross outside Jerusalem, and that this fool, he and his criminal's cross broke up an empire that seemed adamant, and made a new world, which, renewed again, is Europe still he is a fool, and it was some such fool drudged up and down the earth these later years, and wrote a book the other fools bought up in tens of thousands, calling it a gospel and this fool too, and the fools that follow him, or hold with him, why, he and they shall all end in the madhouse, or the gutter, where they'll chew the husk of their mad dreams and die. Well, what are their follies but dreams? They have done nothing, and never will. Dot one moment. I have just a word to say how comes it, tell me, friend, six weeks ago a comp, was sent a packing for a cause his fellows thought unjust, and that same night or, rather, the next morning, in comes one to tell you, quite politely, that unless that comp, was setting at his frame they feared one of our greatest newspapers would not go that day a harbinger of light and leading to gladden and instruct its thousands. And, if I remember right, it did and so did he, that wretched comp, set at his frame, and does how came it also that three months ago your brother, the ship owner, sacked a man out of his ship, and bade him go to hell and in the evening up came two or three, discreetly asking him to state the cause and when he said he'd see them with the other, vidi lice it, in hell, they said they feared, unless the other came thence, if he was there, and was upon his ship tomorrow morning, it would not sail. It did not sail till noon, and he sailed with it, but this is all beside the point. Our comp, who sweats there, and who will not write you leaders except to help a friend who's fallen ill, why, he, Beyond a doubt he is a fool.